everyone. Welcome to a new episode of A Day in the Life of Roberto Latinos. My name is Amy. I'm the Customer Success Coordinator, and today we have the pleasure to be here with Rafael Contreras. He's a legal assistant from Venezuela, which he's currently living in Bolivia. Rafael loves to read, play video games, and go to the gym. So, Rafael, how are you today? Hi, Amy. I'm doing fine. What about you? Good. I'm doing fine. I'm really excited to be over here with you and just getting um, to know you better. And Rafael, I do want to know, did you bring anything today? Did, do you have a snack? Do you have a drink? Did you bring anything from where you're living right now? Uh, yes, I have a hot mate from yeah. here, Bolivia. Uh, it is just a regular one, uh, cinnamon with lemon. Ooh. But uh, there are a wide variety of flavors. Yeah. But Which, it, mm -hmm. Which one is your favorite? Uh, my favorite actually is this one, cinnamon and lemon. Mm -hmm. I really love the taste. It, it has a really nice effect on me. So today I did bring coffee over here. I live in Honduras and we do um, we do drink a lot of coffee over here. So that's what I brought today to share with you. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So Rafael, can you just let us know a bit more about you? Like, what do you do? Like, I do know that you were an English TOEFL, like you were a prep teacher. So can you just let, let us know a little bit more about that? Uh, well, um, let me tell you that I have, um, I would say, kind of passion on teaching. And just because of the fact that I was able to learn English since, since well, since when I was a young boy, I decided to use that knowledge to teach uh, at the beginning my friends and then uh, some other people. Uh, I got paid for that. That is never bad. <laughs> so I decided to go further than that. I am not a t I mean, I didn't study to be a teacher. I am a lawyer actually, but teaching was something that I did very, very well. And speaking in English was also something that I mastered when I was a little child. So I decided to do both. And then Rafael, can you tell us how does a day as Rafael, a legal assistant look like? Wow. Uh, let me tell you that first of all, I am a night person. So I don't wake up early <laughs> as much as I try to. Uh, but well, I wake up at 8.30, maybe 9. Mm -hmm. I play some video games before I <laughs> I am out of the bed. Then I take a shower. I prepare myself for the work. While I am working, I sometimes put some music. Then I have lunch, uh, finish my work session. Uh, after I am done with the work, I go to the gym. Sometimes I take a stroll, I like to walk through the street and finally I finish my day playing some more video games or reading a book and basically that's it. And as right now as you're currently living in Bolivia, did you used to do that in Venezuela also or like did your routine change? Yes, well, actually my routine changed a lot, but not because of the fact that I am not living in a different country, but because of the fact that while living in Venezuela, I was doing completely different things. I was practicing law. I was not working remotely, so I didn't have the chance to play video games when I woke up, sadly. <laughs> And how long have you been working remotely? Remotely, I have been working for... I would say three years, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. Nice, nice. And now that you have three years working remotely, do you have like an office space in home? Like at home, do you have like anything prepared for you to work? Uh, yes, I have a little room that is my office. I have my two computers, my three screens, my chair, all my paperwork. Yeah, it is like my little office. Nice, that's nice. Yeah, I believe that it's really important just to have like that space that it's designated like to just work, you know? And, yes. with, and with this, 
What would you say is the best part perk of your brother? And with and with this, what would you say is the best perk of your job? Oh, working remotely, I think that the best perk that it has is no commuting time. That is awesome. That is <laughs> something that I would not change for anything. I mean, I wake up, I have my time to have my breakfast, to play video games, <laughs> and then just walking from my room to our mother, I am in my office, I am at work. That is something that is awesome. Mm -hmm. But then also like staying home, how would you say that you stay productive? Like how do you motivate yourself or how do you, let's say, how do you avoid distractions while being home? That is an interesting question, I would say. But just as you mentioned, having an own space for the job is essential for that purpose. I mean, when you go to that room, to that office, when you are here, you are in the office chair, you are able to change your mind. You are not at home anymore. You cannot think about video games or about TV or about any other thing, but you are in your, in your, in your place to work. Maybe you have your cup of coffee or your cup of tea, but you have that mentality. I feel exactly the same as I when I was working at a real office. Well, yeah, yeah, real office. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. And how do you stay motivated? I need more clarification on that question. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say, um, so you did mention that you do love like being home and then of course, just like having your time, having your time. So is that one of your motivations? Like just keeping the remote work? I would say yes. Yeah. I would say yes, actually. Uh, it is, um, I think that working remotely right now, maybe not, not so much in the future, but right now is a privilege. And I feel that it is something that I have to value a lot and keeps me motivated. Yeah. I think, I mean, if in the future I don't have to, I mean, I must work at an, at an actual office, I would do it, but this is something that motivates me a lot. Mm -hmm. I would say just having that work-life balance style, like that's yeah. in general. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And then what would you say is the hardest part of working remotely? Oh, I, I am really ashamed of what I am about to say right now. But the, big, the biggest issue when you work remotely is the fact that you forget to groom yourself properly when you have to go out. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, like to, I, I like to go out on weekends. Um, yeah, I am used to, uh, I mean, have a good uh, style. I mean, a fantastic style, but I... <laughs> On my work days, through the week, I am in pajamas all day. But hey, uh, that's the reality. And, yes, and I have to, for example, I have to, to, to look for my lunch at the restaurant uh, three blocks away, and I sometimes go out in my pajamas. <laughs> yeah, I, I am ashamed to say that, but I like this, I really like this. I would rather go three blocks walk with my pajamas rather than going to an office one hour away from home. But then, just like I mentioned, that's totally normal, relatable in some end, because you know, like, like you do have that facility that if you are over here in a Zoom meeting, you just got like your button up shirt and then like you're wearing like PJs or something like on the bottom. So I get yes. it. I have, I have a memory when I started working uh, remotely. I had a meeting with the office, with my client. Yeah. And when I turned my camera on, my hair was completely messy. It was <laughs> messy, but, but messy. And I remember that my, my client laughed a lot. <laughs> and she was like, wow, you are having a hard time adapting to, to the work. And it was like, 
that was not the thing. <laughs> but yes. But now that you now that you think it like it was an experience and now you can laugh a bit. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, my client laughs a lot when she remembers that. <laughs> Sometimes I use caps, baseball yeah. caps. Uh, they know that I love baseball, but they know that I am not using the cap because I love baseball in that moment, but because maybe my hair is not properly <laughs> adapted to the meeting time. Yeah, I get it. And then, do you play baseball, Rafael? You just mentioned that you do love baseball. Do you play or you, do you just like watching it? Uh, well, let me tell you that when I was young, when I was a little child, I used to play baseball. Uh, but as I grew up, I I mean, I left the habit. And right now here in Bolivia, no one plays baseball. So I am There's no in a bad situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got it. Okay, thank you for that. And um, I do want to know, Rafael, why did you choose Virtual Latinos for your professional development? Let's say, how did uh, you start? Okay. I chose Virtual Latinos because I was looking for some alternatives on working remotely. Uh, that moment, I believed that maybe I would be a good match for working online. And I found this platform by uh, Facebook, I think. Um, I felt that I could fit in Virtual Latinos. I remember that I made the application. I was really amazed on the fact that it was a platform that required a lot from people who applied. And I was like, okay, I think that this is a good challenge for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what would be one piece of advice you'd give to someone who's interested in becoming part of our community? Well, um, what I would advise them is don't surrender. I understand that maybe the requisites are high, uh, but that shouldn't be a reason to stop trying. Behind these requisites, once that you achieve, once that you achieve them, there is a high reward. And working online in a community like this one is something priceless. Uh, maybe you might feel in some moment that there is maybe no chance for us. But if you try a little harder, you will never know if maybe that is your time. Thank you. And then what will be an advice that you would give to someone that who's starting to work remotely? Get a nice screen, <laughs> a big screen. You'll yeah. need it. Yeah, nice. I love that advice, really. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, Rafael, we're just ending. Um, I do want to know, do you want to add something else with what you just said? Do you want to share something else with us? Well, let me tell you that... Um, Remote work has changed my life. And I think that this is a privilege. Maybe in the future, it will not. It will be something more common, but this is a great chance to discover yourself, uh, all the abilities you might have and you don't know you have. Mm -hmm. So yeah, try it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And just like you mentioned, I do believe that for right now, like we're just starting to work remote and um, I'm pretty sure that during the years, it's going to be even more common just working remotely from home. So I totally get what you're saying. So with that, Rafael, I do want to say thank you for being here with us and sharing with us a little bit about your story. It was a pleasure having you today with us. And to our audience, thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to see more episodes of the series A Day in the Life of Roberto Latina. Bye.